I just wanted to talk for a few seconds about fluoride. Fluoride, there, there have been a lot of studies on fluoride. And actually, I have a list of things here of the health effects that have been found to be caused by fluoride. Um, and we've got everything from allergies, arthritis, bone disease, brain, tumors, cancer, uh, dental fluorosis, gastrointestinal problems, uh, infant exposure, autoimmune disease, kidney disease, penal, pineal gland, it calcifies your pineal gland, it causes thyroid problems, um, the list goes on and on about all the things that fluoride can do to you if you drink it, ingest too much of it. But I don't even want to go into all of those studies because there are so many that that would take probably like a two hour long video to even explain. I just started thinking about it from more like a practical, everyday logical standpoint. So I'm just going to, let's just follow this track for a moment, okay? This is, this is a little tube of toothpaste that my dentist was giving out for kids, cavity protection. And it's got the fluoride in it, which isn't supposed to be for children under two years. But just a note on that, if you go to your local Walmart, they have infant water with an infant on the front, toothless that says fluoride added. Why? I, I have no idea, so why would anyone buy that? But anyway, um, on the back here, active ingredient is sodium fluoride, and it says warning, keep out of the reach of children under six years of age. If more used, if more than used for brushing, why did they write it like this? Okay, <laughs> if more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact a poison control center right away. So. If you ingest more than the pea-sized amount, I know in commercials they show people like put this on their toothpaste, they put like a whole tube of it on their toothbrush to brush. You're not actually supposed to do that. It's a pea-sized amount of this if you use this. Um, but it says on the back of here, if you use more than you're supposed to, basically, then and you swallow that, you're supposed to get medical help right away. You're supposed to contact your poison control center. So they obviously think it's bad enough that you're not supposed to swallow this. And it even says on here, directions, do not swallow. To minimize swallowing, use a pea-sized amount in children under six. And you're supposed to supervise your child when they use this because you're not supposed to have that much. So, okay, so how come this is okay, right? But eight glasses of this, which you're told to drink every day if you have municipal water, is is fine? What is the logic of that? I just, I'm curious. Because municipal water, honestly, if it's got all, it's, they put other stuff in it to clean it and everything else, and then on top of that, they're medicating us with fluoride. It's a chemical soup. What's coming out of your tap water, if you live in a place where you get fluoridated water, is a chemical soup, to quote one of my friends. Anyway, so, and if you look at it from that standpoint, it's crazy. Why are we drinking this stuff? And on top of that, you know, um, they put it in the water because it's supposed to help you with your cavities, right? Well, if you go and look up some information on cavities and where they're formed, it's usually deep within pits in your teeth. Okay, so I'm going to drink some water. This, is, this, is, this has been reverse osmosis purified. There is no fluoride, hopefully, or a very small amount in this water, I am hoping. Anyway, I'm going to drink this water, okay? How long did that take for me to drink that water and swallow it? was like half a second maybe a whole second okay how much of that time do you think that water had contact with the deep pits in my teeth if I have any how long did that actually have contact with that because I'm gonna go with hardly at all what it did have contact with is all the other parts inside my body so why would you take a medicine for your teeth that is affecting every other part of your body when you drink it and is accumulating in your soft tissues and going to all these other places in your body and causing other issues. When it barely even does anything, I don't know anybody who takes a drink of water, right, and just swishes it around in their mouth for like 30 minutes. If you drink water like that, then you obviously have way more time than the average person. This water, you drink it, you swallow it, it's gone. So why do we need to have medicine in there that's barely making contact with the places in our teeth that is supposed to be helping? It doesn't make any sense. But I'll tell you what does make sense to me. We are being poisoned. That's the bottom line. And if you want to think about other things having to do with fluoride that'll scare you, think about the fact that not, the last people to fluoridate water before us was Nazi concentration camps. 
Hitler was fluoridating the water in the concentration camps. Now, why do you think that is? Do you think that Hitler was sitting around going, I really care about these people's teeth, and I just can't wait to make sure they don't have cavities? I don't think so, okay? We all know how that war turned out. Not very well, and I'm pretty sure he was not sitting over there overly concerned about people's dental health. Okay, fluoride is bad. It's bad for you. So, there's a reason it's being put in the water, and it's not to help your teeth, okay? And that's all I have to say about that. I just, I implore people to look into reverse osmosis or distilled water. I mean, you still need to get the, the minerals in the water, but just look into buying some kind of water filter. And also keep in mind that the water coming out of your sink is the same water coming out of your shower and bathtub. So there are, there are also filters you can buy for that because the skin is the largest organ on your body. So you're also taking fluoride in every single time you take a shower, which I'm pretty sure is not going to your teeth also. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. I, I just want to tell everybody that and just think about it because it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. So.